What a lovely sound. So, this is my nice little knobby controller. You can see that uh, it's quite detailed. Just gentle, 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 gentle. And we're getting a, a nice response there. Not skipping any numbers. That's what I like to see in an encoder. No number jumping. Super smooth response. With a bit of <clears throat> inertia in there. That's it. What does this guy do? Uh, I made it do some things. So a little bit of LFA action. A bit of panning. Which probably doesn't come through very well on here, because, you know, recording on a phone through laptop speakers. Very clever. I do notice this gives out a weird value, like the center goes between, you know, 128 each side wall. Let's say 127, 128. So that's like right in the center. And then the out outside is where it drops to this last point, which seems to be not zero. So we're trying to get a feel for this. Maybe I need to do a little bit of calibration or something, but yeah, so I've got to kind of invert each side to get the values I want. It's annoying, but it works. I don't think I'm excited, as excited for this guy as I am for this guy. This is everything I dreamed of. Still, I need to get some love out of this because there's a bit of jitter, there's a bit of... Because this is a whole sensor type one, so... It seems to when it springs in the middle, sometimes you get a bit of jitter. I'm not getting it right now, but... And I only seem to get, you know... Seven beat, beat each side. What's that? Let's. So I thought it was 14 bit per axis, but I'm not getting that. Um, but you know, it's uh, it's it's doing enough for what I want to test at the moment. That's cool. That's the fun bit with prototyping. Is you gotta take a jump to get the components that you think are going to do the job you know you can research all you want but until you got them in your hands and there are, there isn't a shop that lets you play with these you know i got to get these off the internet from the uk oh this thing though this is great this doesn't have um all the weights yet like because uh if only you could feel that that's a big heavy old flywheel there this is a, a smaller one but they'll screw into the bottom of this um, well, you can see I've made a little hole so it'll fit, so it's, it's not going to fit in this box. But once that's on, like the big heavy one, oh, it just spins for ages. you got quite a bit of spin without it, but once you've got a flywheel on, it's like, <laughs> inertia planet. So that'll be a lot of fun, but it's just nice to hear this controlling. You can see the mouse cursor see it, when you plug it in the default is it registers as a mouse essentially so i can pick it up as you know the hid in, or hi object on max you know having trouble getting it to work on pure data um the hid object on there has been a pain in the ass um but this one yeah you do actually get a pulse per you know movement rather than uh, in pure data it seems to just pulse continuously so I can't grab like a, a static position I don't know how high can you go ready for takeoff
frequency am I at here? Um, if I go... Boring. Come on. Oh, unlock. Yeah, that'll help, won't it? Uh, haven't used Max for a while. I mean, it's... Same thing would happen with PLD, but anyway. So it was like 18k, 20k. Definitely outside you know, normal hearing range now. But it's probably because it's getting modulated, but. Oh, yeah, that sounds cool. You actually get quite a nice, I take it back, you, you do get quite a nice detail in this. Like, I'm just doing like light wobbles here. You can hear it, right? I assume you can hear it on the phone. I'm gonna regret not recording this, like, you know, long ways, because it'll be in stupid mobile format. Sorry, everyone. Uh, I get annoyed by them, and now I'm doing it. Just wait till I turn this into the ultimate dubstep machine when I do that. Yeah, bah. Just imagine this, like, morphing through, like, a field of more complex parameters to do all sorts of kind of... Cause, like, that's, that's good to... That's sensitive. Like, I'm just... That's totally accurate to the way I'm I'm playing it. I don't know if that translates in the video so well, but just gently bringing it back to center. Um, seems to jump there, and then I don't seem to get anything else out of it at that point. Like I said, there's probably some calibration I can do with it. I've got to look into the manual for it, but... In terms of, like, the sensitivity of it, though, that's great that I can do that. Because sometimes, like, when I'm playing, like, all I want to do is, like... Yeah. You know what I mean. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna do this all day.